What's good everyone, it's Mark from Motogear TV. Thank you for tuning in once again and in today's video I will be replacing my worn and destroyed OEM on a tray with an upgraded unit from MLT Engineering. Now, when BMW engineers designed the factory on the tray, I'm sure they didn't have longevity in mind. And it's honestly one of the first things to get damaged on any E9X M3 over time. The OEM on the tray is made from a combination of plastic and felt-like material, which honestly has minimal strength and damage protection. It is mainly used to channel air away from the oil cooler and serve as a barrier or covering for all the hoses underneath the car, some of which are extremely important, such as the oil lines that lead directly to the oil cooler itself. Now, you really want to protect these areas as much as possible and the OEM on the tray just doesn't do a good job, in my opinion. The material is very flimsy and any debris or scraping will cause it to rip very easily. And this is even more of an issue if you have a lowered car. And that, my friends, is really what prompted the team over at MLT to create their own. Now, there are a few brands of aftermarket under trays on the market currently, but I really think the one from MLT has the best mix of design, protection, and price. It's made from aircraft grade aluminum, reinforced with rear bends and L brackets, and then powder coated black for a durable, long lasting finish. The under tray is also available in either gloss or matte black. It retains a similar size cutout for the oil cooler air duct, and it comes with the rubber duct seals pre-installed, which was perfect for me as my OM ones were missing. For my particular install, I decided to go with the matte black version as I think it really mimics the look of the OEM under tray very well and it should match the rest of the under panels very nicely. The overall finish is superb, however, it's really unfortunate that this will all be hidden underneath the car. Now, as far as hardware goes, it does come with everything needed for the installation process and it should require no drilling or modification for a true plug and play installation. Now, my car does have a GT4 V2 carbon fiber front lip and the air ducts on the back are a bit longer than the standard GT4 version. So you may or may not need to trim those ducts slightly for a better fit. However, moving on to the actual installation, the process was very straightforward. Forward. With the car raised, the first thing you'll have to do is remove the OEM under tray. Now in my case, most of my OEM tray was already torn and thrown in the trash because I didn't want to have anything dragging on the ground. However, if yours is still installed, then you will only need to remove a few screws and hooks to uninstall it. From there, you can slide the MLT tray in and begin to secure it with the included fasteners. The tray has built-in nut certs, so you'll only need to use the washers and screws. Now for my particular install, I will however have to modify the air ducts slightly. Now, as I mentioned before, this will vary from lip to lip, but it can easily be done with the use of a Dremel and a cutoff disc. Once that's done, you can bring all the screws to full tightness and that will complete the install. Now I must say the fitment was 10 out of 10. Everything went together well and it feels so much sturdier than the OEM piece. I have two things to note, however, the tray is made from aluminum, so it's really lightweight while providing good protection. However, it is not bulletproof. If you just happen to run over a big enough rock on the highway, then it will sustain some damage. However, I'm sure it will do a way better job than the OEM ever could. Lastly, my car does have an upgraded oil cooler, which is a lot bigger than the factory unit. So fitment around that air was pretty tight, especially with the bumper still on the car. However, I was able to make it work. You'll just have to wiggle it around and it should fall right into place. Overall, I'm extremely happy with this on the tray and I highly recommend it if you are in the market looking to replace your worn or damaged OEM tray. I'll leave a link for the MLT unit down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. Now, if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more E90 M3 content. But as always, we do have more mods on the way for the E90 M3, some for the interior and also some for the exterior. So be sure to stay tuned for that. 
But until then, I'll see you in the next video. We're gone.